Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we are going over the creative genius of Stromae. And I also like to be sure to recognize him as an unsung rap genius because he was able to mix hip hop and electronic music on a pop success level that very few have done. And the large reason why he's unsung is basically because he's a French artist and it's hard to really have a pop hit in the US, which is the center for hip hop without speaking English in your music. But let's dig deeper into why this guy's a creative genius. For those of you who don't know, he's a producer, he's an artist. Back in 2010, his very first hit, I Laura and Dons, which Kanye actually remixed that same year, he was singing and rapping. Among electro and hip hop music, he's also noted French folk music and Congolese music to be heavy influences of his. What you'll see consistently throughout all his work is he has a way to bring all those things together in such a creative but super simple way. And as a first example, this dude's creative simplicity, let's talk about his beat making lessons. I've seen a lot of beat making lessons from producers, but this guy takes them to a whole nother level. For one, of course, he's a producer and artist, so what he'll do, if you look at the very first beat making lesson, it's kind of basic where he's showing the beat, he's building the beat, he creates it, and then he raps after. That's one thing that you'll see constantly throughout all his lessons, but then it really start going to a whole nother level on beat making lesson number 14, where he's basically on top of a roof creating this beat and then once again singing it afterwards and he's always like enjoying the hell out of his music but then not only that he's taking this series from being in the middle of a soccer field being in a grocery store i think that's number 22 the grocery store is like my favorite one respect les massages je respecte ton terrier respecte mes terres je respecte les insectes donc respect les mammifères super simple concept of a beat making lesson but he's adding an extra level of creativity which brings him attention. People enjoy his beat making lessons. If you look at comments today, people are always like, man, I miss his beat making lessons. And again, those are just his beat making lessons. If you want to actually talk about his visuals for his videos, my first encounter with Stromae was three, four years ago. My homie Jabril, he showed me Stromae and I was blown by Buddy. Every single thing I'm basically talking about, y'all are just going to have to check Buddy out. I'll put a few links of my personal favorites in the description below. But his visuals are actually a perfect example of his creative simplicity because it shows his art of storytelling. If you're English speaking like me, understand not a lick of French, you actually miss out on the fact that all his songs are telling stories and the way he drove that through is with visuals that had extremely creative concepts but it had super linear storytelling. So even if you don't understand what he's saying, you can actually get the gist of the concepts that he's trying to deliver and if you already understand what he's saying, then it's just a whole nother level on top. So for example, Papa Pute is, I believe, his most successful song. That song is really alluding to the concept of the fact that his dad was actually killed in 1994 in the Rwandan genocide, and it kind of alludes to some of that loss of him. There aren't too many songs that cover that deep of a subject, but have such level of pop success. The song is actually enjoyable as hell. And as a matter of fact, his very first hit, Alora and Dance, the one that Kanye remixed, the concept that there's so much going on in life, but you can just dance to escape the problems. Now another one of his hit songs, once again, just super creative concept and has meaning behind it. Excuse me while I F this up. Two le memes. Dude has like one of the most creative ways I've seen someone depict the whole back and forth between women and men where he's basically playing both of them at the same time, but not even as two characters. He's playing it as the same individual in a single shot video style. And as a matter of fact, earlier that year, I think in like January or February, he did one of his beat making boat series actually alluding to the video that would come out in December of that same year. I describe Stromae song wise as if Kendrick Lamar remade Swim swimming pools again and again and again because that was like a hit song. It, had, it was catchy, but it had meaning and he was telling stories and talking some real stuff all at the same time. You can listen to swimming pools for a long time without even knowing that it's about something until you actually take the time and listen to the verses and not just the chorus. So you guys who actually do know him or if you check him out, put in the comments below and let me know who exactly would you compare him to visually and do you think he's an unsung rap genius? Of course, I personally think he is, but I really also did this video because I just think a lot of artists, if you personally don't know about him, especially could have watched some of his visuals and just get inspired by it. I know a lot of times us who really do care about the artistic aspect of things can get a little tired of seeing a lack of creativity and he is nothing short of creativity. So, 
that's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe.